Hello, gamers of the internet. We're back with Danganronpa V3. The two of us love. Last time uh, we learned that Himiko has been conformed to the wonderful ways of a tour. And uh, myself included. And, I, yeah, I, I and mean, if, if their religion involves hugs, then I'm all for it. It's just a hugging religion. I'm a sucker for I'm, hugs. I'm all on board for a hugging religion. I'm all for it. <laughs> that is some impressive brainwashing indeed. It seems being the ultimate artist is not Angie's uh, only talent. Kyo has gone the brainwashing route. <laughs> That's fair. How are you taking this, Tango? No. <laughs> Um, I don't think she's gonna take anything at this rate. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, um, I mean, I'm not jealous or anything. Where's the baka? Baker. <laughs> My feelings for him are called totally clean and pure. <laughs> Says the drool coming down your mouth. Man, I wish Kakiji were here to call you out on your shit. Not like you degenerate males and your filthy, vulgar, and pure feelings. Right. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is gonna be something. You think Tenko is wet? <laughs> this is bad, they're gonna get so addicted. The virgin is weakest during their first time because it's their only time. <laughs> no, wait, hang on. No, she's right, hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's actually brilliant. Doesn't take much to get them off. <laughs> I mean, if it's the first time. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <for> you. <laughs> But you can't deny what she's saying isn't wrong. I mean, it depends who it's with. That's true. Margot might get nothing at all, depending. What if you watch a shit ton of porn and it's your first time, you're like, wait a minute, this isn't like all like the wacky backy Japanese shit I watch. <laughs> Jesus. There's nothing there. Where's the hentai? Don't mind me, I'm just highlighting the dangers of it. Oh, God. I'm just saying. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't have high expectations or unrealistic expectations. Does porn give you unrealistic expectations? Of course it does. 100%. 100%? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, it does. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm actually type of wholesome porn in the search thing. Actually, is that even a thing? I've never tried it before. I'm, I don't know. I'm oh, God. Me, but... uh, you don't, don't do that. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not giving anyone ideas. <laughs> all right, go on. Fucking hell. Jesus. This is Muse 4. <laughs> this is all Muse 4. Fuck's sake. Oh, no. It's like she's fallen into a cult, isn't it? To think that Himiko, who called herself a mage, Ended up like the She's now a priest! <laughs> Cloth chain! White magic only! <sighs> oh, oh wait! Do you have to oh, have a no, it's a reference Patreon I don't get. DT pa pa Patron Pat Patron Patron deity patron. to you magic? Patron deity. Patron? I don't know that oh. one. Oh no! I'm just gonna drink. Is that okay. a Dragon Quest one, mate? No, I'm, oh, fuck, I don't know. How many steps is that for when you don't get a reference? Didn't smoothie? you say it was free? Free, that's right. Yeah. No. Or is it just? Or is that just the the vines for the divine spells? Himiko seems more like the black magic type. Which is not wrong. You need a demon for that. Well, if you believe in demons, you believe in gods too, right? Shimmer Gummy Tensei! Is there a JRPG I know? Oh, it's fucking stuck in my head of a dick. Could someone help me? Oh, sorry. All of that is just plain unimportant. I was just curious. I'm going to sip anyway because I thought that's another reference. No, I got that yeah. one. That was SMT, wasn't it? Well, it might not be. There are demons in every JRPG. Uh, well, uh, okay, I'm going to go on the limb that second. If you believe in demons, you believe in God. But that's that's fucking every JRPG. So that's not a reference. Fucking Yeast has it as well. If fucking demons equals dark black magic. That could be anything. That's exactly, too broad. so it might not be SMT. That's yet. too broad to be a reference, surely. Does she mean JRPGs in general? I'm going to have to do three sips to oh, first. Oh, fuck. Alright, fine. But I still don't think that was a reference. I don't think you're a reference. I'm not a reference. What's the matter? What's going on? I'm not even gonna finish that. You know? I don't. I don't know how to finish it. I'm just sad that I'm not a reference. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Um, 
Did Angie do something to Himiko? What? Hmm? <laughs> I just undid her brainwashing, that's all. But absolute fucking kook, Angie. But Himiko is clearly acting strange. What was that? That's rude. I'm not acting strange. This is my true self. I guess a two is worth can't reach robots. Ouch. That's robophobic. Huh. What? You're being robophobic again. It'll be okay. It's okay. Atua has compassion for robots who look like Bind humans. your robots don't bleed. They do oil. Yeah, but that's not blood. It's, yeah, it's oil. the equivalent. It's just oil. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's the equivalent. Blood. It's equivalent for him. Yeah, but it's not a, Atua's not going to take that. It's fucking oil, not blood. Maybe. So Akira would be useless to that religion. What else you got? A divine message. I think it would be best to verify what her, her, Atua has to say. I wonder if Kurumi ever thinks she'll have the chance to meet this god and if she ever gets what? a chance to kill him. <laughs> that was really good. I had to do it. <laughs> I often wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, how, did the... how did the conversation end up here? Well, Jeez. Jira Buckland, I guess. Girls' conversations are always like this. They jump around so much I can't keep up. That's not really important right now, Kaito. <laughs> One trap mind that man is. Yep. One trap mind. And I respect that, because. He's very positive. You gotta have one guy who's all about doing and not saying or, or thinking. Yeah. I have. A I have. I have a handsome god. A handsome god is watching over me. He's pretty handsome, though. <laughs> He's got them smirks down, I tell you what. And a shiny head as well. Mm hmm. Very mm -hmm. shiny. Oh, yes, very yellow, very shiny. <laughs> Mate, he's gonna get all those free turns. But you said, oh, I'll bleep it out. Don't worry. Yeah, you didn't bleep out in the last episode, though. But I will this time. You better do. Chris, have a true fan. <sighs> I, d I did it. I missed it once, but I bleeped it out the other three times anyway. You missed it twice. Was it twice? Yeah. Fuck. So, I don't need to be scared of anything. What? Don't say that. That's super <laughs> huge death flag. That actually is She's a massive wrong. death flag. Character arc over. Time to kill him off. Oh god. Death flag. Oh yo. No, that's really bad. Angie next. Oh, I don't like this, Joe. That's really that was actually really hey. scary. I feel like it's too obvious that they are right. Yeah, said the fact flag, that they said it though. Angie, what? Unless they're making it obvious to make us think that it wouldn't be obvious, but it actually is obvious. Oh god, double bluff. Oh, oh. I could do. What are these divine messages? Atua says that this academy suffers from the same sins as the outside world. What? You're all unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Uh, advers- Oh, adversaries. Adversaries. Okay. Atua has spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed. Uh, um, Gleed? Oh Greed. damn it, sorry. My bad. Cause Atua says so. so, we must cast aside that sinful Gleed and rejoice in our new lives here. Wait, you wanna stay? Oh, wait, what? You, you Is that what you're saying? Are you saying you should just stay? But you before you were like welcoming death in, in chapter one. Oh, and, mate, she wants that bad ending from DR1 so bad. Oh, where everyone just fucks. Yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty good to me, actually. It wasn't a bad ending. They does, all got does, without does it. Does a tour do orgies? They all got without I bet. I bet that's in there somewhere. <laughs> it's gotta be. You say you are saying we should live here for the rest of our lives? No, no. No, no. That's wrong. Okay. That's wrong. So what is, is it? Is she then? doing that's wrong? No. How divine! It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. We have to ascend to Nirvana? So we all fuck? What? Because purpose in a locked up place would be creating life, right? Yeah. So, the rivers in the desert. Yeah. Reminding us what we're here for. Exactly. Let's <laughs> have a lyrics go. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
What? Heaven on earth. Oh my god. Sure. Okay. We must make this academy heaven on earth. I for one welcome our new orgy enthusiast overlord. And our paradise by the sounds of it now. Noni. <laughs> what? And then, in doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killing will cease. Because we're all fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's. I don't know about Kyo, though. I feel um, like he'd go too far with his. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. ooh. I'm just saying, man. That's... Look at the guy. Oh, no. Look. I've, oh, boy. I've, I've seen. Uh, I've felt his mini. Uh, um. Damn. I feel urges from that man. I'm just saying. <laughs> he, he... There, there's been some parts in this game where the facade has dropped a little bit <laughs> from him. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Just a bit. Maybe that stuff about his. Oh, we should spend time with him. Look, I, I kind of want to spend time with Kyo as well. I kind of yeah. like the guy. I, I want to know. I'm about... interested enough in him to hang out with him. I want to well. know about his sister. Yeah, as well. I, I want to know more about him a little bit more. I. Are you being serious right now? He gets yes. a little bit into it is what I'm saying. I can I can tell from his look that he does. And some of his sprites that we've seen yeah. as well. This place provides us with shelter, food, clothing, and a wonderful friends. We'll get punished. Oh god. What? What more could you possibly desire? Do not give in to your greed. So she wants to make the school into a paradise. Yo, those eyes though. Hmm. Sure. I'm on my knees. Yeah, I'll go for it. Okay. She's cute. Why what? would we not? <laughs> what? What? Himiko! Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Cut it out! Our two divine messages are never wrong. Huh? What? Oh, yep. Himiko is a good girl. I'm fast learner. Oh my god, she's got her under a farm, mate. She's got good and proper. And then? Together, we diverge a truly divine plan. <laughs> the best plan to help us live lives of fulfillment here. The best plan? <laughs> Tell them, Himiko. Make them burst with happiness! Mm. Yeah. Explode with explode with excitement. It's finally happening. Requiem is upon us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! The hat's flying! Oh that's cute. That's uh, a cute sprite right. she's got. <laughs> the amazing Himiko magic show is finally opening! Magic? Magic. Oh shit. Huh? Oh, a magic show? Yeah. That way she don't have to explain shit about her religion. Oh, fair enough. A magic show? <laughs> she just did the laugh that... that no. Nah. Was that like a gimmicky one though? Like a nyaha, but like a sort of her version of it? Like, kind of, I guess. Oh no. It wasn't a nya ever. No, it wasn't. Which is weird because Himiko does nya. Yeah. And Angie's got the nya laugh, but Himiko has the nya talk, but this time she did a he laugh. Don't worry, admission is free. Uh, actually, I guess admission would just be your smiles. That is okay. kind of creepy. Uh, oh. Yeah. This is gonna be mixed vibes. This feels like. Yeah, it feels, um... Okay. Okay. Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my power. With my magic. My magic is only the thing that can heal your twisted heart. Oh my god. Uh, Angie's totally the ringleader behind this stuff. Ooh. Is this just to get them to stay here? Oh, this... I get this is a nice gesture and all, but... Oh. I can feel the ulterior motive here. And then she just hands Can't out Can't give in to our greed. Like, what? fucking, uh, yeah, no. Because, uh, how, how dare you be so greedy and want to see your family again? God, yeah. you greedy fuck. 
they, shame on you. But they haven't all looked at the uh, videos yet, so maybe they don't know. Like, well, they know that there's something on it, but they don't I know. just know something bad's gonna happen. Well, yeah. And it's a yeah. setup for something <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, for sure. But in our current, oh, but in our current placement, performing magic predicament. predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Yeah, don't disturb my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. Whoa, she's got a finger point sprite now as well. She's had that before. Has she? I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, she has. And it's called a magic show because I do magic, not tricks. Tricks are for kids. Why? Oh my god. Why? Why, why, are you, why, why are you turned on by that? Screw your magic show. I don't get excited about that crap. I'm not even... Are we drinking? Like, no, because that's not even a turn on. Is that a turn on? Yeah, have you seen the sprite? But that's a turn on to her, but it's not dirty. Yeah, but she's saying it in a dirty manner, mm. trying not to, while she's trying to, like, you know, hold in the creep from fucking bursting. God, what kind of... Oh, I guess dirty magic. Hey, You're way too excited! How about that? Yeah! This show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the game after morning announcement. What's up with her eye? Mate, someone's totally gonna bite it during the show. Oh, for fuck <laughs> sure. It's a magic show! Yeah. Swords! Swords! There's a lot that could go wrong here. There's a lot of dangerous weapons that are involved in it. And we've seen him in Code's room as well. Yeah. If it's gonna take place... Either this or it's gonna be a bluff, I don't know. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with... And that's the Bation. Anticipate. Antis I think she means to say anticipation. But she said anticipation. Oh, so she's still kind of there. And she said Bation, so I assume that Muse drips is dripping a little bit. Say. Okay, good. Oh. Surely you mean anticipation. Or have I misunderstood the nature of this show? Oh! Thank you again. Well then. Himiko. No, oh, sorry. So divine. Himiko. <laughs> I will begin to prep work, and I am supposed to ask others to help too. Bayonara! I am counting on you guys to help. Nyaha! Bayonara! Are you okay? Yeah. Farewell. Look at her fucking face. You guys need to be more clear. Oh on what it is you're trying to actually know what am I saying they wouldn't be clear about brainwashing would they nope <laughs> after announcing their show before anyone could react Himiko and Angie left the dying hall you know what though I actually um, I actually went Himiko? like did I ever t I think I told you but I don't know if I told anyone else this story about brainwashing my, my workplace actually sent me to a, a really dodgy place Okay. Was there a magic show going on? No, it was like, like it was it was an accident. It was an accident on their part. They didn't look into the place. Oh my either. god, they sent you to the wrong place. No, no, no. It was the place I meant to go, but they didn't like really research the place. It oh. was a new, it was a new thing for them. So it was dodgy, and they didn't realize it. They didn't realize it. So what it was, right, is like. It was, I won't say the name of the company or anything, because who knows who could be watching this shit. Um, but what it was is they sent me to this place. It was like a hotel, right? And they had like this, it was for this event, a seminar event, where it was like, it was like a massive con. Oh, but, I remember you telling me about but this. But it was like, it was done under like brainwashing techniques. Yeah, like I you really, me this. really weird shit. Like they would like, they would like repeat words and stuff like, the, the guy would speak and he goes, aren't I going to give you a great deal? A great deal. Say it with me. A great deal. And then like repeated it <laughs> and stuff like that. And it was like, it was like proper brainwashing oh, shit. shit. Like, it wasn't like Wolf of Wall Street, DiCaprio with the pen shit. It was just literally some weird Like it was a guy talking crap. about how amazing his life was as well. He's like, I've got this amazing car. I've got this a nice house. I, you can have all this stuff as well. You can just listen to one of my seminars. I'm not going to tell it all here today though like and all that sort of stuff sounds like cold brain watching. it was really no no but the people right there was this one girl on the team she was fully like like i've been i've bought loads of stuff it, they, they like put people into our into the team to try and get us 
to like actually oh, yeah. no the, the like workers the, like their place of audience is in like game shows and shit to like clap at, at like four out of seven yeah or yeah something. yeah but like like they, no but I'm talking about the work there was like a worker who was like one of like the, the, the staff members yeah. who was like a plant to try and get us the staff members to go into it as well wow it was so thirsty for it then. mate it was so messed up I was so freaked out and the people were just acting so weird it creeped the shit out did they me. get you no. How do I know that? How do I know you're not brainwashed I, right I now? I never went to one of those seven arts. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know that. you're not going to stab me in the back of an office pen? But like me, me and uh, another person were just like, this is really fucked up. Like seriously. <laughs> Sounds a bit dodgy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really creepy. Ugh. Well, at least it's a story to tell. Yeah. At least you survived and you didn't yeah. get converted. Otherwise, you might not be here right now. No. <sighs> I don't want to LP this by myself. Gosh. Everyone would yell and be mean to me at my mono mono machine. It was, correct re- it was really creepy. I told I told my I told my uh, company after, and they were like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." Oopsie daisies. Yeah, here's a hundred pounds. No, sad <laughs> enough. Himiko, what happened to her? Oh dear. <laughs> Faith is in intense. Intense, and this can can be quite terrifying. Yeah, just a bit. But there may be. There may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our motive video. Or Come is on. it? Man. You're only worried about that? I'm worried. I forgot about that. Oh wait, no, you're right. Because the, the Maggie show... Oh, it's probably going to be related. Of course, we cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But what are Kokichi and Gonta even doing? Yeah, oh, oh shit, what are they doing? They're not here either. Nope. But everyone who... Who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you just say? Oh, you mean Kokichi, Gonto, and Ryoma? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. Hmm, he's got a point. Like, what are the chances of all three of them having the right ones to need to? I can see Kokichi doing it. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group is like that. Is Unless he way. stole someone else's. True. Which could be a thing. Mm. I see. That is true. Well done! <laughs> not bad! That's the ultimate detective for you. Now I could totally see Kokichi going off and nicking someone else's video. Yeah, he seems like okay. the kind of guy who just thieves shit. Like yeah. a pickpocket. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, he's blushing. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himiko. You <laughs> <laughs> give Himiko power! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh. What do you think? Damn it, I'm feeling bad for her. Oh no. Shit. What? No. <laughs> I'm feeling things for Tenka, help. Oh no, slap out of you. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, save a line, Tenko. Damn it, save the line so we don't feel bad for you. Do it, hurry. For now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I prepare meals for everyone. Shuichi, I know you like dust, so here is an extra helping. Woo-hoo! I got it from the cupboard. Hey, shaped like a bunny. <laughs> I get it. That's cute, Kirumi. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently pre- You are so kind. Ultimate maid. Holy shit. Ultimate maid. I would hire you. Ah. Yeah, gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. Ah! <laughs> ah, I'm was. screaming now! <laughs> Kaito, don't push yourself too hard. You silly booty. After I helped the stuffed Kaito to his room. <laughs> oh, I want to see fat Kaito. I want to see fucking uh, imposter Kaito right now. <laughs> I return to she's my room. Ro- <laughs> she's just rolling him to the room. <laughs> oh, man. It's like those bad snowball mini games in a <laughs> Oh, God. Guide him correctly. Oh, Hated those ones. Uh, so I guess it's special event time. Yeah, 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 yeah. should go to the casino. I do promise me you. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! This remix. music's so good. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, Ryoma, Kokichi! What the fuck? You guys are here. Shuichi. Oh, Wait, what have you what? guys been up to? 
I mean, I know this is like a special event and all, but considering the circumstances of the story, it's weird to see you both here. Yeah. Wait up, Shuichi! Huh? Are oh. Kokichi and Kyo and Roma? <laughs> Roma? Fucking virgin! Shut up, Tusamugi. Oh, fair enough. Looks like these pubis virgin was eavesdropper on us. Hey, man, people are into that kind of thing. You know, sometimes it's nice to be shaven. Sometimes it grows in the in other places more than others. <laughs> <laughs> As an evil supreme leader, I can't pass up the chance to watch you win a jackpot. That's correct. Ryoma and I have just arrived as well. It's weird seeing Kyo in a casino yeah. environment. This place is pretty suspicious. You better investigate it thoroughly. You mean play all the games thoroughly? Hey, hey! Well, well, we can play some secret game with Shuichi's medal, can't we? Yeah, what is the secret game? Oh. oh huh? What? Who came up with that rule? Fucking moron! You, the doy? Who else could it be? No, no. But it wasn't me. The fuck you just C say? Quit fucking around! <laughs> I'm not playing dumb! I never tell a lie! Because bears do not lie! Does that count as a sip? Yeah. Oh, wait, isn't it some. If it's like, Wait, oh, I'm forgetting my own fucking drinking rules. Was it when they say a bear? Yeah, it's like if they say a bear pun or bear or well, like... they say refer to bear or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but people course out on the fucking bear pun things. They're like, ah, oh, it's not a pun, don't drink to it. Yeah, well, because we... Because uh... you guys are so damn technical and drinking to it anyway. Yeah, I'm drinking to it because I it doesn't have to be a pun, it just has to be bear related. Yeah, that's the word. That's that's a correct description there. But we did drink. We did drink. Uh, we had the. the oh yeah, bears, I just remembered I? the sixth sip was for the Kama Sutra thing because we missed out on that last time. But oh, we already okay. drank that, so yeah. That's not very persuasive. Hey, um. First of all, that medal is just a special knickknack I made for the Monocubs. Oh, oh. Oh, this is the the Monocub medal um, collection we got, I think, which we've got like five times. Yeah. There's no reason for you guys to have it. Stick in a slot machine if you want. Ah, oh, I thought okay. we were going to get some really cool mini game or something. That's a special event, so I assume it's not going to be a permanent thing. It'd be cool if there was, but I uh, somehow doubt yeah. it. So we can use it even though it's supposed to be a special item. I see you trying to make my voice lines. I've certainly you? done that like five Sorry, times. Sorry. I haven't noticed. Yeah. What? You mean I got fake info? Who'd you get it from? Typical useless Mew. You would get jerked around by fake info like that. Oh god. Why does that turn you on? Because he said jerked. God, she's so wet. Like, any little mention of something sexual is just enough to... She's like a fucking child, but with the adolescence properties of a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Jeez. Well, it's fine if it was just faking, but it's not the reason I came here anyway. Why did you come here, Yoma? Oh? Oh! Whoa! Oh! What are you guys doing here? Hmm. Oh no, Kaito, about to lose it all again. Oh, Kaito, what are you doing back here, man? <laughs> you you, you lost hard last, last time, time yeah. yeah. Why are you here, Kaito? I thought you were sort of gabbing forever. That's what they all say, though, isn't it? Hey. They always come back. Hold up! What do you think I came here to gamble? Because of that money in your hand. I can hear the chain crawling. It fell out of your hand. Would one come here for some other reason? The love hotel key, of course. Oh, yeah. oh, you're wrong. I didn't come here to gamble. What did you come here? Kaito Mamota. Luminary of the stars. I just don't understand why the instincts of Kaito Mamoto, Luminary of the stars, we're off! Oh, I see. So you're positive you'll win it this time? Oh, no. Kaito, it's good to be confident, but not when you're wrong about everything over time. <laughs> what? Certainly not a liar. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you take that back! Don't screw around! Don't you dare underestimate the instincts of Kaito Mamota! I challenge you, Kokichi! Oh my oh, god, fuck. they're gonna have a standoff! Let's see what you got. A gamble <laughs> off! <laughs> I accept your challenge. Oh man. You're gonna lose heart, Kokichi. I imagine he's got a pretty fucking good poker face. Oh. He's so easy manipulated. 
<laughs> so simple, like a moth to a flame. Uh, okay. Like I let the pride get the best of me sometimes, but even I'm a bit of a defeat, the ultimate liar. Oh man. Because you can't kid a kidder. Yeah. Kaito Kokichi Kurokyo Yoma and I, and I guess Mew fucked off. The five of us each use our coins and compete at the slots. Oh, you all she's be... watching. She's probably watching. We're jerking off somewhere. Off, yeah. Yeah. I've been roped into it before I even realised it. Oh, who cares? The fuck's going on? Wait, oh no, she's getting she's forgotten ah. about. <laughs> Wait, why am I getting shoved aside? Ouch! It was her special event as well! She initiated it and now no one gives a fuck. <laughs> oh, that's kind of harsh. That's hilarious. <laughs> you might rig the slot machine so it wouldn't be a fair match. And why would she do that? She's a mechanic. Makes oh, sense. Right, yeah. What? No, 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 no fucking way I'd ever do that! <laughs> it's written all over your face that you would. What? Alright! Well then, let's start! God. <laughs> you don't even have to say anything. Skip this scene. <laughs> Skip it. We don't need the story behind this. We know what happened. <laughs> The competition was over in a heart. I love the single tear just dropping down his that new laughing there is, is a vibing with that right now. Luminary of the stars. I'm vibing with me at the moment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I lost in a landslide. Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! <laughs> Did Ryoma take it? Oh, mate, that makes sense if Ryoma won, though, you know? Yakuza minigames, they're everywhere. Oh, yeah. He, he, he would be on that shit. He knows. He knows his minigames. That's games. how the minigames work on, like, 70% like of us. How the fuck do you play Mojong, man? I don't know. Winning at something like this isn't anything to brag about. You know, you got the smug face going on there. <laughs> Against all odds, Ryoma won a landslide. Damn. Do you have some sort of trick? Do you? Nothing like that. Just got a nap for it, I guess. Huh. You know, it's a shame that the voice act doesn't extend into like, the entire game. It's just in the trolls and like some cutscenes here and there. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Because the voice looks pretty awesome. It is really good. I actually enjoy I, hearing I, them talk. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, we get to voice them too. Yeah. We got that at least. It does add a little bit of personality, I guess. It adds our own personality to them, but like, yeah, it would be nice if they were like actually to be voiced all the time. What? Mind you, that's a lot of lines to voice. Yeah. But hey, Devil Survivor Overclock did it, and that had a fuck ton of lines. True, true. So the five of them for three houses. True. What? You mean you're lucky? That's just superstition. Well, Fire Emblem didn't like, voice everything. It voiced like. 95%. Yeah, it did, it did. Which may as well be all of it. Yeah. I cannot ignore that comment. Do not regate luck to the <clears throat> realm of s superstition. <laughs> oh, my Kokichi senses are tingling. Kira's about to go an anthropology lecture. Kokichi senses? No, 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 that's a hard part. Kokichi senses. Like Spidey. Oh god. Yeah, yes. it works. Kokichi. Yeah. For example, it is said that certain words or phrases will jinx a difficult challenge. Yeah. Oh, that's so it's true. It's like you usual fall out voice. Come on, Joe! You can do it! You can win! Oh. You can do it! You are great! Ugh! I mean, I just fucking lose every single final round in second place. Oh, Dick. man. Never cheer for me again. Gosh. <laughs> This is deeply connected to the Japanese concept of kod Kotodama. Kotodama, the power of words. Is that like a legit thing? Sounds like a demon. <laughs> like saying green if you want me to go hard or red if you want me to stop? Say. <laughs> <laughs> Please be silent. 
war. I'm just trying to line up the mood. So then, Kotodama is a belief that words contain power that can influence reality. So I can get behind this. This this is actually a legit thing. Speaking positive words leads to fortune, and negative words leads to misfortune. Very this true. is like this is like all to do with like mindsets and shit. You know, like when you like start getting negative, then more negative things come around you because you know it's a negative. Yeah. Thing. But if you stay positive, because like, you're conditioning yourself for the negative, for the negative shit. So basically, yeah, something might not be like crazy negative, but because you've already undermined yourself, yeah, it's the worst fucking thing in the world. I admit, I, I tend to oh. do that sometimes. Mm. That's why I'm always trying to stop you. But I don't do it as much as I used to. You do a lot though. Like if something goes wrong, it's really fucking wrong. Yeah. You do it all the time. I try not to. I'm still, I'm still like, working uh, on it. Oh god, I can't get this announcement out. Oh god, oh no. All the ellipsis and texture is like, Ben. It's okay. Calm down. No, no, right. I'm getting better it's right It's fine. Now. Yeah. I get you're passionate, but you uh, be passionate about like the right things, you know? Yeah. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting better, better right though. though. I'm getting better right now. I'm not negative right now. You're okay. You're not right now because you're distracted by video games about happiness and fun and friendship and no one dying. Right? Yeah, like when you rephrase a sentence so it doesn't sound as unlucky. Oh no, what are you going to do to twist this? I see, yes. Yes. When facing... S when someone faces a challenge, hears negative words, they might feel it is unlucky. That feeling of mis misfortune may then affect their focus or motivation yes yeah hmm. i see in that case perhaps the belief in superstition is what affects them no i don't let silly things like that affect me well that's probably why you're good at it yeah you don't think about it i win simply because i'm confident in my skills and that's all it takes and luck that's correct how can you be skillful at slots? Who'd win a fight? A two of a god or RNG of a god? RNG of a god. Yeah. You just don't fuck around with RNG of a god as a Pokemon playthrough taught us many, <laughs> many times. <laughs> Stupid fucking swagger. Point god. Yes, and words have power to grant or rub someone of such confidence. Words are powerful. Words hurt, guys. Truth or lies may be fired as powerful as bullets from a gun. I see what you did there. Ha 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 ha. Uh -huh. So witty. It's almost like a video game or something. It's almost like we're playing that game. Okay. Oh, I see. I guess you can't underestimate luck. It's a factor hey, in a so lot of things, unfortunately. Hey, Ryoma. Do you have any pre-game rituals or something? Is Fall Guys luck or skill based? Everyone who loses horrifically, who sees the Illuminate screen more times than they care to admit, will probably say luck. Yeah. <laughs> I guess pure skill, though. You guys just suck. <laughs> it's a good game, though. I really enjoy it. Yeah, I've season two. Well, now you mentioned it. When I was playing a match, if I end the call with my right foot, it'd go, well, that's a weird one. How does that work? Explain. Uh -huh. Oh, is that like his old superstition? Superstition, this is all Well, why the right foot? So I did the same thing with the slot machine here. <laughs> but that's it. So he believes in his foot. Yeah. <laughs> I bet your racket bends to the right too. Oh. Fuck's sake. Every single opportune moment. Great. Ruined the scene again. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Please be silent forever. That is not what beautiful. Kyo disapproves. <laughs> Stop glaring at me, it was just a joke. Oh, oh. Alright! Alright, well I'll give it a try! <laughs> <laughs> You're so colorful, Kaito. Ooh. <laughs> Again? It's the exact same artwork. <laughs> Go on. Right. Look, Kaito. You see... So I don't know what to tell you, man. You just gotta get better. You live in a universe called Danganronpa, right? Yeah. Where sometimes luck can manifest as a real talent. <laughs> it's true. Maybe it's just best to know when to fold him, dude. Yeah. 
You live in the wrong universe. Oh man. Because Locke is borderline magic in Danganronpa sometimes. He really is. Kaizo. Ryoma wins again! Too bad! Oh man, Derek Stephen Prince is such a fucking good voice actor. <laughs> he is so good at his lines. He's super good. <laughs> Serves you right! Why don't you give it a tug with your other hand? And me is voiced by a 60 year old woman. Who's she voiced by again? Wendy Lee. Oh yeah, right, Wendy She's Lee. been in the business for a very long time. Wait, wasn't when? No, it, no Wendy... She voiced Faye Valentine in I'm, I'm Cowboy get... Bebop. No, I'm getting... That's old. Wendy Lee... No, Wendy Lee... No, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused with the one who does weed. Sorry, that's a different person. What? The, the weed... Oh, Amanda Winley. That's it, Amanda Winley. She hasn't done those in ages. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, I knew you meant when you yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, they're very educational, those videos. They are. Luck alone doesn't produce results as consistent as these. She's been here for a long time as well, though. Yeah. I think she dubbed Ray in uh, Eva. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course. If I was just lucky, I wouldn't be undefeated on the court. Huh. You know, Kaito, you don't have any skills when it comes to gambling. Just in. Shut up! My skills are suited for the universe! I think Derek Stephen Prince is like. 50. Is he? Yeah. Wow. I Vet thought he veteran was... voice actors, dude. Mate, I thought he was younger. Ah, he can fucking put on the voice of someone young. Holy shit, that's a talent and a half. He's good. He knows what's up. That's why they don't work on gambling. I can't waste them on that. That's why I don't gamble anymore. That's why yeah. on the ground, the best. punching the floor. <laughs> you lost twice. Three times if you count the very first time. Oh yeah. I took a very depressed Kaito <laughs> back to his room. It's like okay, to man. He's just like holding him like he's an arbitrary <laughs> like he's a soldier. Oh man. Just yeah, just coming back from a war or something. Taking his anarchy back to his room. Aww. Cure die. <laughs> Kokichi and Gunter. Angie and Himiko. And Ryoma, um, oh, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of variables in this thing that could be okay. <laughs> and uh, you're giving not. us a lot of uh, names here, man. Um, Everyone's all over the place. But I shouldn't just let, leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes, I'm going to do something about this. Oh, oh shit, we got more free time. What? We got more? We got... What? Okay. Wow. Sure. I was about to make a guess. All right. Well. Oh, good thing you did. Well, we're gonna end off the part here though, because it's forty-two minutes. All right, guys. We shall see you in free time, I guess. Remember, kids, always go hard and go home the first time. That's how you'll know whether you should be in the casino gambling business or not. Just that one try. Don't be like a Kaito and lose your first time and try, try again. <laughs> Damn. Well, you gotta know when to walk away. You gotta know when to walk away. What a magnificent display of human foolishness that Kaito has exhibited. Such bold passion, fierceness and simplicity is simply beautiful. Members of humanity, show me your own potential. Comment, like, and subscribe, and show me what I yearn to see.